comes down to this one game. At least they have the home crowd behind them. And it's simple. I mean, this kind of advantage is why you fight so hard in the regular season. All they can focus on, survive and advance. I'll look at Orlando's opening lineup. Wagner and Bancaro at the three and the four. Fultz and Suggs are the backcourt. And it's Carter in at the five, down low. Mobley, no good. Side Fultz. Pass to Van Carroll. Over Mobley. And Van Carroll with the bucket. And the assist by Fultz. It's so hard trying to throw Van Carroll off balance. He's superb at finishing through contact. Garland looking around. A shot from the mid-range. And Mobley throws it down. And their offensive rebounding is such a strength for them when he's on the floor. Yeah, he really helps them extend possessions, doesn't he? Yeah, you can feel Coach smiling on the sidelines with every offensive goal. Now here's Wagner. Pass to Ben Carroll. Pocket six. Mobley grabs the board. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Mitchell, the pass to Mobley. Pass to Struess. To the middle. Here's Mitchell. And the layup is good. Taking a little contact there does not affect Mitchell's shot. Good concentration. And Caro outside. Here's Carter. Shoots over Allen. Carter can't get it to go. Despite the miss, those are the kind of looks coaches hope to create. Garland against Fultz. Mobley on a screen. Uses the glass on the layup. I just love the fire that Garland plays with. Even inside, he is aggressive. Garland against Fultz. To the paint. Shoots. And Wagner gets it to go. He's a producer. It's part of their plan to get him as many touches as possible. Pass to Mobley. Struess with it. And here's Mobley. Now Garland puts up a three. He drops it from range. Garland's got five now. For a guard like Garland, hitting threes unlocks the rest of the floor. Here's Suggs. Checked by Mitchell. It's Suggs with a drive. Good work defensively by Mitchell. They timed up the layup perfectly. The D saw it develop and got there to bother the shot. Pass to Allen. Over Suggs. Allen can't get it to go. Orlando trailing here. Fultz with it. Back to Ben Carroll. with the rebound. Now here's Garland. He's got five. Outside Mitchell. Struess with a screen on Wagner. Outside Struess. Let's the three fly. It's rebounded by Ben Carroll. And so Ben Carroll will bring it up for the Orlando Magic. It's a five-point game. Picked by Carter. Here's Suggs. Mobley with the block. Hard to protect your shot with Mobley's lane. Look, he just bats that ball away. And that shot was going nowhere thanks to that aggressive swat. Oh, you could feel the playoff intensity in that block. He's playing some extra aggressive defense out there. Mitchell, the pass to Struess. Here's Garland. Oh, 
nice D from Fultz. Orlando's gone two of five from distance here in the second quarter. Garland runs point with Mitchell at the two. Isaac Okoro is out there with Thompson. And it's Struess in at the three. That's the five for Cleveland right now. And his ability to efficiently score, that's really helped him out in this one. Putting them ahead on the scoreboard. And so it's Cleveland with it. After the basket by Orlando. Thompson with a screen. The baseline J is on the way. Rebounded by Suggs. They have a decent advantage in regards to rebound. Carter, a screen on Garland. The three from Suggs. Sends it home from three-point land. And now it's a ten-point magic lead. Yeah, good to see Suggs bury the triple. This will only help with his confidence. On the wing, Struess. Pass to Okoro. Garland with a screen on Wagner. Outside Mitchell. Six to shoot. Over Fultz. Mitchell's shot is good. Mitchell's got eight points. Showing off his skills as a shooter. Mitchell knocking down that mid-range look. Wagner with a screen on Garland. Suggs the pass to Wagner. And down it goes. Dunked it through off a beautiful setup. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. Yeah, it's going to take better rim protection than that if they're going to climb out of this hole. Garland finds Thompson, and that one drops for him. Yeah, it's hard to believe that Garland is only getting better at this, developing into a skilled playmaker. Orlando has gotten five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. Carter, a screen on Garland. It's Suggs with a drive, and he banks in the layup. Suggs has got five points in the quarter. He's looking much more confident here in the second quarter as far as his scoring goes. Here's Okoro. Five points in the game. Garland for three. It's hauled in by the Magic. Wagner's got five rebounds tonight. Slow going for him this quarter. The defense putting up a good fight. Carter against Thompson. Carter inside. Thompson pulls it in. Cleveland has gone three for seven from the perimeter during the second quarter. Okoro passes to Thompson. 55 seconds left in the second. From deep, Mitchell. The basket's good. Off the assist from Thompson. He's got 11. They are shooting it well from beyond the arc right now. Orlando leading. Here's Suggs. Seven points in the game. Driving in. Pass to Carter. And it's slammed in by Carter. And a smart feed from Suggs. The defense making it easy, leaving his teammate open. 32 seconds left in the second. The three from Mitchell is rebounded by Wagner. They've done a great job of moving the ball tonight. Yeah, B.A., keeping everybody involved keeps everyone engaged. Here's Suggs, guarded by Garland. Wagner with a screen on Garland. Suggs, the pass to Wagner. And again, it's Orlando with a three. I like their approach here. Suggs really makes the effort to get his guys set up well. And so it's Orlando now holding a 12-point lead at quarter's end. They're getting quality looks, and that's why they're shooting at such a high clip. Time for a quick break, then back to the action. And our coverage of Game 7 continues. Intense atmosphere right now. Paolo Bancaro with a strong contribution so far in this one. And he was a beast on the offensive glass in that first half. How can they slow him down? The way to limit those offensive boards, it's just effort, guys. Whoever is guarding him has to get to position and beat him to the spot. Here's who Jamal Mosley is starting the second half with. At the two and the three, it's Suggs and Wagner. And Carroll plays the four with Carter Jr. at center. And it's Fultz in at the one. Ooh, stolen by Allen. 
On the wing, Mitchell, hounded by Fultz. Now here's Garland. He's closely guarded. Pass to Mitchell. Shot clock at three. Here's Allen. Hey, in six attempts, he's made five. Talk about efficiency. The game of Mitchell is more about putting up points, but Donovan can dish too. Picked by Carter. Here's Wagner. That's basket number six in eight tries. Making the floater look this smooth is not as easy as it looks. It's a challenging shot. Allen a screen. The three from Mitchell. It's rebounded by Bancaro. Bancaro's got rebound number eight now. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Here's Suggs. 12-point lead, their biggest of the game. Wagner outside. Here's Suggs, guarded by Garland. Suggs with the bucket. <laughs> and I like the shot selection. Suggs recognizes when to look to score inside. Fultz against Garland. Shoots over Fultz. And it's Cleveland with another. Here's Fultz. He has six. Pass to Van Carroll. Here's Suggs. Van Carroll with a screen on Mitchell. Here's Suggs. Checked by Mitchell. Suggs with the bucket. Suggs has got 11 points. And good work by Suggs staying flexible. Not letting the contact get him off balance. Mitchell deciding where to go with it. Three-pointer. Rebound by the Magic. Yeah, and the defense really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Suggs, the pass to Wagner. Carter, a screen on Struess. Here's Wagner. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Mobley's got his fifth rebound in this one. Their first miss since the break still. I like how they've come out so far. Outside Mitchell. Mobley on a screen. The three is up. Mitchell misses. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Bolts against Struess. Now here's Fultz. Defense is right there. Mobley with the block. And here's Struess. The three from Mitchell. Yes, sir! Mitchell from long range. After sinking one triple in the first quarter, he nails another one in the second quarter. He's got it going on. Here's Suggs. Checked by Mitchell. Charity stripe shot. Suggs, no good. See, that miss, that miss right there. It's why teams try to avoid the mid-range jumper these days. Garland finds Mitchell. Back to Garland. a screen from deep and Darius Garland with the three Garland's got five points now in the quarter and the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter down low here's Van Carroll finds room and goes for the jam Van Carroll <laughs> to the paint and it's slammed in by Carter. They give them credit on the job they've done to narrow the gap with this big run. Here's Garland. Just one point separating the teams. Outside Mitchell. Allen in the high post. They set the pick. And here's Struess outside. Rebounded by Suggs. Here's Orlando. 
They're on a 17-3 run. Here's Wagner. And again, it's Orlando converting. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. And his team needs every bit of his production if they want to pull this one out. It is neck and neck here in the final period. They get it back. Mobley. And Mobley throws it down. Wow, you can see Mobley just growing over time, accepting these responsibilities in this big moment. Here's Suggs, guarded by Garland. Suggs with the bucket. And the Magic lead by one. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Outside Garland. Oh, sweet move. And it's good on the lay-in. Garland's gotten four this quarter. Those are huge points from Darius Garland. This guy has become the go-to man for them in these moments. And look, you know what? Teammates need him to be big in these big moments. Mobley with the block. Pass to Garland. Here's Mitchell. Grown man points from Donovan Mitchell. All right, guys, what's your take on the hustle stats for the Cavaliers? All you have to do is look at one stat, and that is their block numbers. It tells you how tight their D has been. They've been going out of their way to smother the defense. Well, something else that has stood out to me has been their aggressiveness on the boards. They're just out-muscling the opposition on the offensive glass. And he's doing things on the glass tonight that we don't often see. He is totally in the zone, showing his incredible focus when it comes to attacking the glass. Mitchell, good. His team trusts him, and rightfully so. Mitchell makes so many big, important shots because he is a front performer. Now here's Ben Carroll. Carter, a screen on Mobley. Ben Carroll passes to Carter. It falls again. He's now 8 for 12 from the floor. And you want him taking good shots at this point in the game. And that one was easy. Yeah, it's clear why they go to him in these moments. They know he's going to deliver for it. Mitchell against Fultz. Mitchell gets by inside. Oh, Donovan Mitchell, huge bucket. That man is fearless. Here's Suggs, guarded by Garland. Pass to Ben Carroll. Shot clock at five. Cavaliers with a rebound. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Trying here to put the game out of reach. And that's why it's important to play this one smart. Garland draws the double, and so they foul intentionally. His first, second team foul. At the line for your Cavaliers, Darius Garland. Two. He drops the first one, and that increases the lead to six. The continued evolution of Garland has been fun to watch. Every aspect of his game continues to grow and get stronger and more confident. And so both free throws good, and it's a seven-point game. Taking full advantage of his opportunities at the line to extend their lead. Orlando calls timeout. They're behind by seven. Here's Suggs. Check by Mitchell. Orlando timeout, calls timeout. timeout. They trail by seven. Six seconds left in the fourth. The three from Suggs. Cavaliers with a rebound. And here comes Cleveland. They're on a 12-4 run. Garland with the ball. And with that win, they'll be moving on. 
to round two. And what a way to cap off a riveting series in round one. They seem to feed off the pressure of this game seven. Well, they had to put a lot of energy into winning this series. They'll be a little worn down physically, but from a mental standpoint, they'll be riding high after battling so hard to win.